We have viewers who want to ask you guys some questions as well. We, we do that on a daily yeah, basis sure. where they ask our, our panel their questions. And let's do it here. And Mario, I want to ask you a question on behalf of David in Florida who says, do you still invest in Herc Holdings? It's HRI and like the stock. Uh, basically, we're looking at an infrastructure play. We cannot have in this country what happened in Genoa or what happened in Tennessee with bridges falling down. And the infrastructure play is coming. Herc hopefully uh, will get their margins up and continue their share of rentals. It's 28 million shares. The stock is trading around 45. We want to own it. There's another one called Grace Construction Products, spun off from WR Grace, 72 million shares, $27 stock. They announced a strategic review. It's a really interesting company in the construction business. And there's so many like that that we like. You think, Thank we're, getting, you, David. You think we're getting a big infrastructure deal? You have to, because if you vote against it and a bridge collapses, uh, it's a moral problem. We need it. How do you finance it is a different issue. Well, considering what we've talked about earlier with the, the debt and the deficit. Gasoline tax. And also a vehicle tax, because EVs don't pay gasoline. So you've got to have a mileage tax. You've got to find a user fee, and you've got to pay for the highways. But independent of the highways, we need infrastructure like we talked about 5G before. Two trillion dollars. That's not a number. That's not relevant. What's relevant is the amount of time. Oh, it's a number that's been thrown out. That's irrelevant. What's irrelevant is the amount of time you lose, the amount of uh, in, uh, inability to do things. Imagine if Eisenhower said, you know, we're not going to build highways because it costs too much. OK, Lee, uh, Paul and Boca. Not sure if you know, Paul. No. <laughs> Largo Resources. Are you still in it? I'm still in it. Haven't sold a share. Uh, stock's about, I think, 165 Canadian. Uh, uh, the stock is traded uh, right alongside of vanadium. They're the second largest manufacturer of vanadium in the world. The price about 18 months ago was $3 a pound. It went to $30 a pound. It's now about $11 a pound. The manufacturing cost about $4.5 a pound. They have a high yield instrument that steps down in terms of coal price at the end of uh, May. And I believe the company will, is now got well over $100 million in cash, no debt, uh, net, no net debt. And I expect them to be a significant buyer of their own paper. And I think the stock is attractive.